they are damaged with post-traumatic stress dis um, disorder, with depression, um, they've had social isolation, they don't know how to um, integrate with people, um, they've lost their ability to work, um, just to, to even function. So in, in my experience, I, I would say that people released from Guantanamo need a, uh, a rehabilitation program, a comprehensive rehabilitation program. And the, that would include not only mental health treatment and counseling, it would include family counseling so family members can learn to work together. It would inc include job training mm -hmm. and reintegration into society um, and whatever mm -hmm. else is necessary to the specific situation. And I did see something like that in Saudi Arabia, of all places. Um, their terrorist rehabilitation program, they've had 123 people from Guantanamo go through it already. And it's a holistic approach where they um, take these men and put them in this resort-like area. I mean, it, it's confined, but it's a beautiful resort-like area. And they provide religious counseling, religious education, um, mental health, medical care, um, job training. They're allowed to take university courses, and they do family counseling. They have families come in and, and, and then help them in. So that kind of holistic approach, I think, is what is necessary to help these men recover.